took a picture? Yep. See? This is it. Let me explain it to you again. I took this picture on the first floor of Strawberry House. From the secret room within the final dead room. But, don't you think it's weird? If the Funhouse's structure is what you guys have been thinking, then there's lots of things that don't make sense in this picture, right? Then let's begin. Shall I call it... Thinking time? The structure of the funhouse is what we thought it was. Grape House and Strawberry House should link to the tower in the middle. Which means, if you're viewing the tower from Strawberry House, you should see Grape House behind you. But in this photo, I don't see anything behind the tower. No shadow, no shape, no Grape House at all. I see. Is that it? You said this photo was taken from the hidden room inside the final dead room, right? If that's the case, then that means it should have been taken from the first floor of Strawberry House. Yeah, it should have been. Then, this is definitely strange. This photo doesn't look like it was taken from the first floor. The angle suggests it was taken from higher up. That's right. Good call. In summary, this is the truth contained in this photo. The first floor of Strawberry House is located in a high area, and Grape House is not behind the tower. It's not? Are you saying that Grape House is merely an illusion spell cast by Monokuma's cursed eye? From this point on, do your own thinking. Now that you've finally met the same requirements as me, if you guys are truly symbols of hope, you can easily solve a simple mystery like this. It might be possible for Hajime to solve it too, even though he's just a normal high school student. Despite the fact that you don't have a real talent, you already know about the other clue. suddenly appeared on the second floor of Grape House, right? I'm asking you just to be safe. At the time, where do you think I came from? The top floor, right? Such sharp eyes. So you realized it already. Top floor. So the third floor? But the Monokuma Archive should be the only room on the third floor of Grape House. What does it mean?
It's all coming together! I got it! I know the secret of the Funhouse! Then let me hear it! What kind of answer will you give, I wonder? In the picture Nagito took from Strawberry House, I didn't see Grape House at all. So where did Grape House go? There was only one possibility. It was in a position where it couldn't be seen from Strawberry House. Which means Strawberry House and Grape House are in the same building, but on different floors. Same building? Different floors? Then... the two houses aren't two different three-story buildings. They're actually one six-story building? If you think about it like that, based on Nagito's picture, it's clear where Strawberry House is located. Crap! 
I see. On top of Grape House. That's where Strawberry House is located. Because of that, the photo taken from the first floor of Strawberry House was at a high angle. Altogether, this means the first floor of Strawberry House is also the fourth floor above Grape House. Oh, snap! I never expected that the two houses were connected vertically. But what about the shape of the building? The two houses were completely different shapes. Um, Strawberry House is four-sided. And Grape House is six-sided, right? It never occurred to us that they were the same building because it was structured with two different shapes. A quadrilateral and a hexagon. Overlaid atop each other to misdirect how we had perceived them. And it worked, didn't it? Disregarding the tower, we fully believed the two houses were two separate, distinct buildings. In order to conceal the unique design of the fun house, Monokuma put us to sleep so we couldn't look at the outside of the building when he brought us to it. You've just been Kumad! <laughs> Don't you think a building full of so many surprises totally deserves to be called a fun house? Then it's true? The building was really like that? That's right! Those two houses exist on different floors in the same building! Constructing a building like that on your own without my knowledge? H how horrible! Then what about the towers? Are they arranged vertically just like the houses? Yeah, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower should have also been different floors inside the same building. Just like Strawberry House was on top of Grape House, Strawberry Tower was also on top of Grape Tower. However, if they're different floors within the same building, why was Nekomaru's body in both places? Ah, your precious hammies don't know, but it's so simple. Alrighty then, I'll be the one who solves this mystery in a flash. Please watch me, Miss Sonia. Oh, I see. Do whatever you like. I'll definitely make her watch me. I'm gonna stand out till she notices me. I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash. Hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers... ...was actually a dummy! No, that's wrong! Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy. That can be proven by Kazuichi's account. Huh? Me? Remember? When we moved from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower, we thought the body had moved. And that's when you said... Right up until that moment, you were disassembling Nekomaru's body at Grape Tower, right? The killer couldn't have known how you'd take apart his body, so they couldn't have built a dummy. Unless Kazuichi was the one who built the dummy, then it would be a different story. <laughs> Miss Sonia, that's a pretty harsh joke. You are joking, right? It's all right. Kazuichi is not the killer. If he was, he wouldn't have fixed the elevator or the button in Strawberry Hall. It'd be much more convenient for the killer if it stayed broken. I see. That is disappointing. 
I'm even more disappointed. However, even if Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy, it's meaningless if we don't have the important answer. The reason Nekomaru's body was in both towers, even though it was supposed to be on different floors. Maybe it was simply moved? The body moved to a different floor? You can't think of a device like that? A device that moves things to different floors in the same building? Remember when we entered the fun house from one side? How we couldn't enter it from the other? That device is just like that. If you enter it from a specific place, you can't enter it from the other. You must be talking about an elevator. What? Are you saying Nekomaru's body was transported using an elevator? Where the hell is this elevator anyway? It's the tower itself. The inside of the tower is one big elevator. Which means the tower was designed so that the whole room goes up and down like an elevator. So whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, it all leads to the same room, right? So that's why we could only enter it from one side or the other. Now well, that you mention it, sometimes when I pressed the door button, it took a while for it to open. I see. We were basically waiting for the room to arrive, just like an elevator. P please hold on. If the inside of the whole tower ascends and descends like an elevator... Then why is there a picture of a strawberry on the far back door when you enter from Grape Tower? And a picture of a grape on the far back door when you enter from Strawberry Tower? If the room just moves up and down like an elevator, there's no reason for the doors to change. Plus, after the incident, the far back door in Grape Tower had chains wrapped around it, right? But when we entered Strawberry Tower, those chains were gone. Not just that, but if I remember correctly, even the doorknob was broken off. Oof. 
There are too many strange things. Was that tower really an elevator?